What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys an origin form Garatina and his Suing Gudra team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to his Suing Gudra, this Pokemon was absolutely amazing a couple regulations ago. This thing can boost his defense, really get after with body press and heavy slam, and pick up some big time KOs. But now, in this format, it kind of fell off, but I still feel like it's very strong. So, we're going to be using it today, trying to grab some wins for you guys. But let's talk about it a little bit more. It's got the water terror type as its terror type, it's got shell armor as its ability, so it cannot be hit by critical hits. It's got leftovers as item, then rocket body press, heavy slam, shelter to boost its defense, and then protect for our fourth and final move. So if we're going up against a big physical attacking team, Gudra is going to be our go-to Pokemon. Our restricted Pokemon on today's team, like we already mentioned, gonna be Garatina with Levitate and a Grecious Core as its item, giving it a nice little damage boost in Ghost and Dragon moves. It's got the Ghost Terror type for damage boost with Shadow Force, Shadow Sneak, Protect, and Dragon Claw. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Incineroar, Rillaboom, Araquanid, and Iron Jugglers. Iron Jugglers, a little bit of an off-meta paradox pick with Quirk Drive Boost Energy, Snarl, Tailwind, Protect, and Dragon Cheer. We can Dragon Cheer into the Garatina, make that thing crit like crazy. Rillaboom, Incineroar here for Terrain Control and Fake Outs, and Araquanid, a great Pokemon with Wide Guard, and it can really thrive out in Trick Room. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right-hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing this Garatina and Gudra team. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against a Regiram Sun team right here. Now, we don't really have any way of weather control, so this one could honestly be tough for us. They got Ranguru, they got Incineroar, they got Ogre Pond. They're also rocking out with Regiram, Raging Bull, and Torkoal. Now, they could pop Trick Room with a Ranguru. That could be a little bit of a struggle for us. We could honestly go into Iron Jugulus which wouldn't be bad. I mean, we can go into Snarls with this thing. We can go into Dragon Gear. We can go into Tailwind. A lot of different options on that side of the field. So honestly, I might go into Jugulus alongside with Garatina. Not too bad for us, right? Not too bad. I mean, I kind of like that the most. Something we're going to have to watch out for is Torkoal. I do like Incineroar here for Intimidates. But another Pokemon that I don't like here is going to be Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt just, oh man, it's annoying. It's just annoying. I could go into Gudra here that could help us out maybe a little bit. Which I am gonna do. And last but not least, do I have to go with Sinor? Do I have to go in Sinor? Rackman would be would be okay, but I just think Incineroar is gonna be a little bit better. Especially if they do set the sun. We could uh drop some flare blitz and maybe get off some big time damage. But this battle honestly seems like it's gonna be tough here. I feel like just this whole Sun Squad alongside with the Raging Bolt is just a big time problem. So hopefully they don't bring Raging Bolt at least. We'll try to deal with the sun. Raging Bolt will be a struggle. Both would be a struggle, I should say. Let's see who they end up leading. They're going to go into Incineroar and Ranguru. So they're probably just looking to fake out, get off some big-time damage here. Um, or not big-time damage. They're probably just looking to get off Trick Room. Which, I mean, I don't mind too much. I got special attackers out on the field. I could hard swap into our Incineroar if I want to, just to fake out next turn. Or I could just start snarling. You could also go for a party shot. Hmm. What is my play here? I could go Dragon Cheer if I want to. Just Dragon Cheer... And go into Dragon Claw. I mean, we really don't want to attack a Ranguru. What is a Ranguru going to do here? Or what are they going to do here? I might as well go for like a Snarl or something. Because to be honest, I really don't want him getting out. Getting out, what's it called? Torkoal. And then being able to go for it, what's it called? And being able to go for an Instruct here. So we're going to attack a Ranguru. Hopefully they just fake out. Yeah, they are just going to end up faking out, which is fine. I mean, I can get off some damage. They're going to get off Trick Room. No big deal. Dragon Call is now going to fly here. And do minimal damage. There's a the Trick Room. So I think what they want to do here is go for potentially like a parting shot. Maybe into like Garatina. And I think we just start snarling and kind of kind of keep this low key, right? I'm just going to protect Garatina here. I'm just going to protect. I really don't want them being able to go for parting shot here. Into my Garatina. I'm gonna protect and try to waste out a turn here. I'm gonna go for Foul Play. Okay. Foul Play Parting Shot, maybe? I feel like you have to go for Parting Shot here. You're gonna go for Knockoff. You're gonna double down this slot. Okay, so that's not a bad turn. That's not a bad turn. I mean, waste out some Trick Room turns. Uh, I kinda just wanna swap Garatina at this point. The damage is actually pretty good onto that Ranguru, which I love. Um. I think swapping Garatina might be in our best interest. We get special attack drops on physical attackers. No big deal. And he's going to switch out with a Jack button. So that's what he was waiting for. Oh, man. 
exactly what you were waiting for, which kind of sucks for me, right? Eject button. Oh, dude. Eject button? He's going to bring out Twerkle now. This is not looking good for us. This is not looking good for us. All right, how are we going to play this one? We got to waste out some turns here. Sunlight is terrible. Could hard swap maybe into Incineroar to buy us a turn next turn. But I'd rather swap out Garatina and kind of just, like, protect you at this point. And try to get off a of Snarl next turn. That would be my best interest. That would definitely be my best interest. So I'm gonna go, just going to protect you, Iron Jugulus. And we will hard swap the Garatina out for Incineroar. Okay. I told you guys, this battle is going to be super tough for us. A bit too tough. This, this is a tough battle for us. A real tough battle for us. And we're going to go into Incineroar. So we still have our Terror type, which is actually pretty good. I mean, Gudra can really thrive off of that Water Terror type. And it could be nice for us. So we're wasting out Trick Room turns, playing this one slow. We don't end up seeing a Terra pop out here from Torkoal. I wouldn't have been surprised if he went Fire Terror here. He's going to go for the Eruption. Okay. Are you instructing Erupting? That could be a problem. That could be a big time problem. I mean, Incineroar could soak, which is great news. Eruption comes out. Okay. So... Now, I'm going to go for a Snarl for sure. But the real question is, do I have to fake out this Torkoal? Or do I read it protecting? So how many turns are left in Trick Room? Let's be honest here. Two. That's not bad for us. I say we just go for a regular Snarl here. I say we just fake out the Torkoal. We play smart. Smart and simple, right? Because I could honestly just go for a knockoff into this slot. I think Torkoal is going to protect, but I think we have to play it smart just by faking it out. I think it's an absolute must for us. Yeah, okay, so good thing I, I played it smart. We go for a fake out into the Torkoal slot. It's going to flinch. It's going to go for an instruct. Can you instruct again over top of a flinch? Don't you tell me you can do that. Okay, cool. You can't do that. I was going to say, that'd be, that'd be a ridiculous loophole there. Now I get off a of snarl. All right, cool. Cool. Do I swap into what's called here? Garatina. And maybe Dragon Shear. How much damage are you really doing? Minus one. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go for Dragon Cheer here. I'm gonna swap into Caradina. I'm gonna save my Incineroar. You probably think I'm protecting here too. I don't know. Let's see. You're definitely gonna go for an Instruct or whatever, but Garatina should soak being Dragon type, that thing being minus one. You can go for another Eruption. Can both you guys soak this? I mean, Garatina soaks really well. The question here is, can Iron Jug soak it? That's what I'm really hoping. Iron Jugs, live on like 1 HP. You don't, that really sucks. But hey, I'll take that all day. That's not That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I should have just protected the Iron Jugs. I should have just protected the Iron Jugs. I mean, that's not terrible, but now Trick Room is gone. We got rid of it. Um, do we go into Gujar or do we go into Incineroar? We go into Gujar, Terra, and start boosting our defense. Just a body press can do a ridiculous amount of damage. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. They have Incineroar. I'm gonna go into Gujar here and Terrastalize. All right. So one thing that we have to make sure is Oranguru goes out here. We're gonna shelter Terrastalize, and we have to make sure that Oranguru goes out here. Dragon Claw should do enough damage where it should KO this thing. So we're just gonna attack that. Maybe Torkoal protects here. You never know. You never know. We already got Torkoal minus one, which is good. I'm hoping Gujra and uh, Garatina can really get after this match here. So we waste out Trick Room actually really well. We could have done it better if I would have just protected the uh, the Iron Jugulus, but I went on a risky play, tried to get off that ja Dragon Cheer. I honestly could have just parting shot, maybe, or just swap into Garatina and protect regardless in the Dragon Cheer next turn. That's, that, that, that sounds a little bit better. It's a little mistake on our end, but I still feel like we're sitting in a decent position because he's going to protect here it's a great turn for us he's going to protect we're going to be able to dragon claw finish off ranguru get it on out of here and then we get off a free shelter which is massive so plus two on defense plus two on defense early on here and a great terror type for going up against incineroar and torque we don't know their last pokemon yet but we know they have incineroar and torque it's a great little pokemon our sunlight's going to fade you're pretty much forced to swap out torque you have no sunlight and you're minus one on special attack and I think we're most likely going to see Incineroar here, right? No, Regiram comes out here. Regilam, with no sun. Regiram with no sun. And I love our Terra type of water. So I can go into Body Press and start throwing them left and right. Um, 
and honestly just go into like a shadow force here two turn attack i feel like you have to swap into incineroar i might double down this slot I don't, i'm just not worried about torkoal right now i feel like you have to swap torkoal here you have to swap torkoal yep there's a swap of torkoal. okay so good read on us i didn't want shadow force going up against that dark incineroar so i think this is a fine turn for us to just do this and then pivot and then uh or then shadow force and then protect my gudra next turn so intimidate i don't mind i do not mind intimidate all of gudra's moves are based on its defense and Regiram over here is Regiram. So Regiram's gonna Thrasilize. What typing you got cooking here? You're gonna have Dragon Terra. That's okay. I'm kinda hoping my Garatina outspeeds. It's actually be pretty big for us if we can outspeed it. We do. Cool, because we're dipping this turn. We are dipping this turn. We're out of here. We are out of here. We are out of here. Garatina's gonna dodge an attack. Body Press gonna slide over. Shadow Force should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. And then we just protect Gudra this turn. Pretty simple. It's pretty simple. We don't we don't want to be taking a fake out here. You could swap back into Torkoal here, but yeah, I, I, just, I didn't think so. I think you just use some fake out. Yep, there it is. Smart call for us. So we play this one actually really well. We see how Trickroom turns playing it slow. Shadow Force, how much damage are you doing? That's the real question. That is the real question. Enough. You get a crit. Garatina, I love you. I love you, Garatina. That's a big time crit. That's a big time crit. We get rid of Reshiram. Wow, we play this one actually super well. Getting Gujar out here laking. Garotine is kicking it right now. And he's going to be forced to send out Torkoal. So Torkoal going to be the final Pokemon. Very slow. Um, we have great typing right here. Beautiful typing. Body press. Should be able to finish him off. Um, do you have Terra? No, you just sent it. Yeah. Just used it on Dragon. On Resram. So body press should be able to KO you. And do I just Shadow Force this turn again? I might as well. I outspeed them all. Might as well Shadow Force dip. Might as well dip out of the situation. Garatina is going to vanish instantly. We're out of here for this turn. Body press KO in. So close. So close. Knockoff's going to fly in this slot. We're going to get rid of my leftovers and Torkoal. What are you doing? Heat wave maybe? You're, you're just not sitting here. Oh, wow. Never mind. I lied. Solar Beam. I was going to say, you're just not going to be doing anything. And then this thing pulls Solar Beam out. Are you choosing a Solar Beam? We're still soaking really well. I assume Gujar is just a super bulky Pokemon. And from here, we are going to finish off Incineroar. Shadow Force is going to do a little bit of damage, but this match is pretty much on lock now. We got it on lock. We still have our Incineroar in the back end, which is good news for us. Shadow Force doing a nice chunk of damage. Body Press going to outspeed, finish off Incineroar, and yeah, that's game. You might honestly take out my Gujar here, but I mean, once my Incineroar comes out here, we're just going to finish off this match. No problem. Solar Beam on Torkoal. Getting after it. I love Gujar's Terra. I think... Terrasalize of Gudra was awesome this game. We really got a lot of value out of it. And it lives on one. Thank you, Gudra. Love you, Gudra. Now we can just go for Body Press. We'll go for a Dragon Claw. And they pretty much just cancel the match, right? No, they're going to stay in here. Let their poor little turtle die. Their poor little turtle is gone. See you later. Get it on out my face. GG's to our opponent. We start things off 1-0. Moving on to our second match for today's video. Hot start for... The Garatina and Hisumi and Gujar squad. We're going up against a rain squad. Now, this one could be a little tough. I do like wide guard Arat Grenade. Gonna work wonders here, especially up against a bunch of double hitting moves such as Saiyan Seer Storm, Bleak Wind Storm, and obviously Origin Pulse and Water Spout. Um, they also have Arch Ludon. They got Raging Bolt. They got Incineroar. Now, I've been seeing Raging Bolts all across the ladder. And Raging Bolt is just super annoying to deal with. But who should I lead here? I mean, we definitely want Roboom. We definitely want Arat Grenade. I might go into Iron Jugs and Garatina. That could just be a solid lead for us i mean nice little dragon typings here could negate some of the water damage and we can really start getting after it that way so you know what let's do that let's do that both of them raquited little boom i like that a lot i like that a lot especially if they want to go into uh if they want to go into incineroar intimidate's not going to affect these two special attackers that we're leading and garatina is a ghost type which means it cannot be faked out and we can just start attacking straight up uh, but i'm kind of looking to get off at either a tailwind or a dragon cheer here early on I mean, Snarl could work wonders here as well. We'd love a good old Snarl. Yeah, you got so many special attackers. Snarl's gonna work wonders. We might just Snarl turn one. I think Snarl might be our best play. Snarl up, maybe protect Garatina. Lower their special attack until we can go into a Dragon tier. That could be a good option. Let's see who they end up going into. Let's check it out. Because, honestly, we're pretty fast. One, what is it? What are we, 170 around? Iron Jugulus? He has a hot chance of just outspeeding and then going for a Snarl this turn. 
but they're gonna end up leading the typical combo of these two. All right, nothing crazy. Do I terrestrialize Iron Jugs? I could Terra Iron Jugs. I could Snarl here. I could Tailwind set up. Um, I could swap into a Raccoonade if I want to. Um, we are boost energy, so we are gonna be faster, right? Let me see. This goes into speed. It has to. It has to. Yeah, so we are going to be faster. I mean, obviously, they can go for a Tailwind. I think we just go for a Snarl and protect Garatina here. I think that's an easy play. I think that's a simple play for us. I think it's a very simple play for us. Just protect Garatina. They could be going into Ice Beam. We could honestly went into a Tailwind this turn. Actually, we probably should have went into a Tailwind instead of a Snarl, but hopefully this works out in our favor. It actually might. They're not going for Tailwind. So Snarl is going to fly here. We get that speed. We get that special attack drop. We love it. And he's going to go for a Bleak Wind Storm. Which Iron Jugs hopefully is going to dodge. Give me dodge here. Nah, no shot. He's going to take some damage. So we're at 134. They didn't set up a Tailwind yet. Uh, he's going to go for an Ice Beam. And now I'm going to set up a Tailwind this turn. Now I'm definitely going to set up a Tailwind. Because he's going to set up a Tailwind here. So I think now is a good turn for me to go into Tailwind. And maybe just Shadow Force out of here. We could honestly just Thrasilize Ghost. Or I could hard swap into like a Raccoonid. If you're going for Ice Beam. You could take an Ice Beam though. You can take an Ice Beam. Let's just go into Dragon Call and do some damage onto, onto one of these guys. More so Kyogre. Yeah, let's just go into Dragon Call. You might even protect Kyogre. You could take an Ice Beam, no problem. This thing's minus one. End up going for a Tailwind. I would think they're going for Ice Beam in the Garatina here. We're actually outspeeding that Kyogre in Tailwind. Love me some Iron Jugs. Dragon Call is going to fly here, which we're outspeeding him. Nice damage. Just some great damage. He's going to end up dropping a Thunder instead, which is actually bad news for us. Actually, it's good news because you survived that. Cool. So now from here, I know we got some speed cooking. I can honestly just go into this Dragon Tier, boost my boy up, and get rid of this Kyogre. That's exactly what I want to do. That is exactly what I want to do. Yep, I'm cool with that. I'm so cool with that. I'm just going to look to get rid of Kyogre this turn. You could protect Kyogre. That's definitely an option. You could swap it out. We are throwing Dragon Claw into the slot. And Iron Jug is going to be fast on the field. So this Dragon Tier is getting off. I maybe should have Shadow Forced just to dip out a turn. But I like just getting rid of this Kyogre with Dragon Claw. Unless they protect. Both of them minus one, so Iron Jug's actually doing wonders here in match number two. Working out well with all the Snarls. But now comes the Dragon Cheer. We're actually using, like, all of his moves. <laughs> Snarl, Tailwind, Dragon Cheer. And Garatina gets pumped up. He's going to end up going for Bleak Wind Storm. No big deal. Garatina's going to soak that, no problem. Should We shouldn't get speed dropped here. We should be fine. No speed drops allowed. I don't think we got uh, speed drop, which is good news. Because Dragon Call, go finish off you. Get it on out of here. Nice big time crit. Nice big time crit. Now, let's see who they go into. Because I could go into a Raccoonid. I could go into Rillaboom. And I think a Raccoonid is going to be a play. Having that wide guard is just so nice. Because honestly, I could just sit here and spam wide guard and make... Make Tornadus really do nothing. Because the only hitting move that Tornadus runs is... Is Bleak Wind Storm. And they're going to go into Arch Loot on here. They still have Terra. I'm gonna go into Wide Guard. And let's go like Shadow Force this turn. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Shadow Force. Nice, lovely Shadow Force. And we're Terrasalizing too. Just for that damage output. Just for that damage output. And I get rid of my Dragon Typing, which is good news for us. We don't really want the Dragon Typing anymore. Especially if you're rocking like Draco Meteor. It's just, we just don't want it. We're just gonna play this thing smart. We're gonna go for the Y Guard. Keep protecting our Pokemon. Bleak Wind Storm's gonna get blocked. And we're looking for pretty much just Garatina to kinda, kinda get after all this. But we're gonna see speed factors here. So right now, their Tornadus is fastest on the field. He's gonna go for an Electro Shot. Probably into a Raccoonade, right? Just take it out. That's fine. Now I get to bring out Rolloom. You're going to go after Raccoon. Actually, both of them outspeed me. And Raccoon dies out to that. Okay. We got to see how much damage the Shadow Force is going to do. We get to bring out Rollboom, which is good news. 
And you're probably assault vested, right? He's got to be vested. And he could be cover cloaked. This could be a little bit of a problem for us. We should be able to soak up a Bleak Windstorm at least, so... Honestly, I might just try to do some damage onto Tornadus here. Let's see how that plays. It's like a wood hammer. Just right into this thing's mitt. Yeah, I'm going to go for wood hammer here. Instead of fake out. We could have honestly just faked out the Archer Ludom, but... They might read it and they might swap it. We probably should have just faked out Archer Ludon. This thing's probably Cobra Cloak. They could swap Tornadus here. Hmm. Let's see. We'll see a Terra pop out here. This seems like it's going to be a Tornadus Terra. Or is it going to be Archaludon? No, Archaludon's going to get that Terra. What type are you going into? He's going into Stellar. He's looking just to rip up into me. He's looking to take out my Roll Room. I should have just faked this thing out. I should have just played it smart and faked that thing out. I'm going to go for a Bleak Wind Storm. I'm dodging that. And Roll Boom, yeah, soaks rather well. He's going to go for that Electro Shot. Can we soak this? Can we soak this with the Terra Boost? I hope we can. If we can soak this, we have a hot shot at winning this match. How much damage are you doing? It's not very effective. It's plus one, but it's Terra Boosted. We soak. We're going to die out the recoil damage, I believe, here. Shadow Force flies through here. How much damage are we doing? Big time. Leaving you on one HP. Oh, you got sturdy. You have sturdy. You got sturdy, and that's doing some nice damage. Did we die to recoil? We do die to recoil. Okay. So now we're sitting here. They outspeed us. Um, I have Shadow Sneak, which is great. I might just Shadow Sneak the Arch Ludon. I feel like I have to. That thing's being plus two. And then I can Shadow Sneak the Tornadus, get rid of that, and turn this into a 1v1. Not bad so far. So hold up. We're still in this match. We're still so in this match. We're going to Shadow Sneak you. Get rid of you. We got that Ghost Terror boost, which is going crazy. He's going to go for a Rain Dance here. That's fine. The Arch Ludon's dead. You don't know I have Shadow Sneak. You don't know I'm rocking Shadow Sneak. Get it on at my face. Bye-bye you. See you later. All right, and we're getting the crit. So we got the dragon cheer right now. We're boosted. We got first turn priority. We got shadow force. Let's see who they end up bringing out here. That's their final Pokemon. This is going to be the test right here. Who is your final Pokemon? What you got here? Is it Raging Bolt? Raging Bolt could be a little bit of an issue. We don't like Raging Bolt. I should have faked out Archer Ludon last turn. But honestly, I like the wood hammer damage. I think the wood hammer damage is great. But I mean, if we did fake out the arch loot on that turn, we could have just went into a what's it called? We could have had Rillaboom still alive this turn, which would have been nice. But Lander's gonna be their final Pokemon. Do I shadow sneak you and then just attack you next turn? I'm just gonna finish off this Tornadus. I don't feel like dealing with Tornadus damage. We'll finish off Tornadus. We'll see how much damage this uh, this Lando does with Sheer Force. And we'll go from there. Because we still have 200 HP. How much damage are you doing here? Sludge Bomb. Come on. Now, do I go? I gotta go into Shadow Force here. Or do I just go Dragon Claw? This hits through Protect, so we're gonna go for Shadow Force. We need to do as much damage as we can. And they just cancel match. So, Garatina. Clutching up in match number two. Put that Dragon Cheer on it. That thing was doing ridiculous amounts of damage. What is up with me facing a ton of Raging Bolts as of recently? It's just been so many Raging Bolts. All matches in today's video. And I think all matches in last video. Which is actually hilarious. We're going up against a Terrapagos team here in match number three. With Urshfu, Raging Bolt, Fezzedipity, Woshen. And last but not least, they got Screamtail. Garatina was phenomenal in the last match. Did we end up leading that same combo? I don't mind it. They got a lot of special attackers, so Snarl could be really clutch for us. And I think that is going to be my play. Good Garantina. Go Iron Jugs here. Um, we're going to go into Incineroar and then Hisui and Gudra. Going to be your play. Going to be your play. But everything worked out perfectly in that second match. Came down to the wire. Wasn't looking too good. We ended up wide guarding with Araquanid. We got that Dragon Cheer off on uh, Garantina. And then we went to that Ghost Terror, which just boosted damage like crazy. Shadow Force doing insane amount of damage on the Arch Ludon. Shadow Sneak picking up two KOs. And then they just ended up canceling the match after Sludge Bomb did about 50 damage. So we were like, okay, we had this one unlocked because we were just going to go into Shadow Force and just rip up into them. But yeah, I like this team so far. This team's very fun to use. It's not obviously the best team to use, 
But hey, we're doing really good with it. We have to play it very differently than how we normally do with like meta teams. But they end up going into Screamtail and Wochan, which isn't too bad. I mean, I can go for that guaranteed crit early on here. And that seems like what I want to do, just Dragon Cheer and attack. Did go for a Ruination with Wochan. It's an option. I, I don't know why I always forget Screamtail's typing. Is it Psychic and Fairy? I'd love to just Dragon Claw into that thing. But I think it's Fairy as well. Right? You're Fairy? Yeah, you're Fairy. All right. No big deal. Okay, so from here, we could go for Tamwin. I just think Dragon Cheer is going to be the play. We're going to Dragon Cheer up, and we're just going to go for a Shadow Force into... into Screamtail here. Give me no reason not to. Let's do it. Let's do it. Kind of hope they protect Screamtail this turn. Because if they protect this turn, they can't really protect next turn, then Shadow Force is just going to fly into it. But we're just going to Dragon Cheer right off the rip. Get that boost of crit ratio. Garatine is getting pumped. Love it. Love it. He's just going to T-wave me. Okay. Not mind. We're just setting up a Garatina. Just setting up the Garatina, and we are dipping out of here. Shadow Force flying. I kind of hope you're going for, like, a Ruination or something into the Garatina slot, just so we get a big-time dodge. Leech Seed in the Garatina slot. That works. I'm fine with that. You don't think I'm not fine with that? That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Now, to be honest, I might just swap you into you, or I could start boosting your defense. We're going to go right into Guja. We're going to save our Iron Jugs. Do we really need Iron Jugs here? No, I don't think we really need to. Maybe could have went for a Tailwind. We end up withdrawing here. That's fine. So you withdraw, I'm withdrawing as well. How about them apples? What are you going into? Terrapagos. You son of a biscuit. <laughs> now I need my Iron Jugs. Now I need my Iron Jugs, man. Now I need my Iron Jugs. He's just going to dodge this turn. This sucks. He's going to set up a lead seat, aren't you? This sucks. Shadow Force gonna get blocked. Or not even blocked, just not gonna affect me. And Falpoy's gonna fly into the slot and do an absurd amount of damage. That's a lot of damage. We're gonna shelter boost up. Um I guess we just protect you. Oh man! Oh man! That was a great play by them. Real smart play. I wish you could terrestrialize in between those like turns, like Shadow Force. Like since I'm vanishing, I wish I could just like pop Terra. That should be an option. But I feel like that'd be OP. Cause that's the whole like downside to like these two turn moves are like you have to wait two turns. You give your opponent a chance to read at the cost of big time damage, right? I'm just gonna end up protecting Garatina here. I would think they would want to attack me, especially with like a foul play or something here. He's gonna end up calm mind boosting while we shelter boost. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got it. I understand. Shelter's gonna fly here. We're gonna boost our defense. Boost our lovely defense. He's gonna go for foul play. Alright. I think from here now's a good time for us to just start throwing body presses. Who do we start attacking? I think we gotta start attacking Terrapicos, right? Terry the Terrapicos we're gonna start attacking. And... I just swap it to Incineroar. Yeah, we'll save a guard team. We'll go into Incineroar here. I know none of these guys are physical attacking, but Fake Out can come and clutch next turn. Um, just do a lot. Just do a lot. And if they're going for Foul Play into this Garatina slot again, should be able to soak pretty well. Alright. Let's see how this plays. I love what Chen's eyes. Just like, in its like, what is that, antennas? Because I know this thing's a slug. Do slugs have antennas? I'm pretty sure they do. They have like little, little antennas. Whenever I think of slugs, I, I think of a... Uh, I don't even think it's a slug, but from Monsters, Inc., it's like the yellow guy. He has, like, the little antennas. He's dope. He's real dope. But we end up going into Incineroar here. We are 2-0, oh, which is good, good news. He has to just protect him with Shen. But I was going to attack. I think I didn't attack it. Are you going for another Calm Mind Boost? It sure looks like it. Yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. You can go for Calm Mind Boost. That's, that's no big deal. I don't mind. I don't mind too much. I'm going to be able to body press here. He's going to Terra Shell up. Use his Terra Shell, which you could call on him. I want to go into a Shadow Sneak and then Body Press, I think. But to be honest, I think he is going to protect his uh, Terrapagos here. I think we're going to fake out, and this is the time we just go after Wochan. This is the time we just fake out and double down to Wochan. Honestly, we don't even fake it out. We just double Flare Blitz. We just double attack it. There's no need to, uh, there's no need to fake it out because we outspeed it, right? 
There's just no need. Because I'm reading Trap Ghost Protecting. So we can just go after Wu Chen. And look to just KO it, right? We should be able to KO it here. I know, you're really not protecting here? What are you doing? Why wouldn't you protect here? Makes no sense. Why wouldn't you just straight up protect here? It just makes zero sense for you not to protect. Why wouldn't you protect here? I mean, it's a good play because we're not going after it, but it just makes zero sense for you not to protect. Now Earth Power is going to fly here. You're going to go after Guja. Can you soak this? You do. I love you. That's, that's big time soak. That's a big time soak, but it's not really going to help us too much because this thing is just straight up outspeeding us now. And I'm going to die to Rocky Helmet. Nice. Lovely. At least we do pick up KO because you guys know my two rules on the channel. One is we don't go 0-3, and, and another rule is we do not get swept in a battle. So, neither of them happening today. If you guys are longtime viewers, you guys know the consequences. If one of them happen while I'm recording, I have to give somebody a channel. I, I have to give up my channel. Those are my rules. I don't make them. I just enforce them. The law above me says that. They say that. So, I don't know. I don't know how to deal with that. So we don't get swept, we don't go 0-3 on the channel. I don't think I ever have. No, I definitely never had, because I, I would have had to given up my channel. Those are my rules. Those be the rules, then be the rules. Yeah, I can't believe this thing didn't protect there. Cannot believe that. Um, so we don't have fake out anymore. I don't want to terrasize because then he just picks up big time damage onto us. And I think we just have to go for snarls. Our only options. We'll go for snarl. We will go for a fake out, or not fake out, knock off here. Just to get rid of this thing's item and do a little bit of damage. But yeah, this match seems like it's over. This thing's boosting up. That was the only shot last turn, was just to read the protect and get rid of Wochan and then kind of get after it that way. But yeah, this is not looking good. Not looking good. No bueno. So I'll take a 2-1 winning record all day. Acid Spray's going to fly, and that's that's just a good combo right there. Can you outspeed by chance, Iron Jugs? You don't. Terra Star so that's ripping up into us. Bye-bye, my whole team. You guys are both dead, right? I know Incineroar's dead. Jugs, you dead? Jug survives. Jug survives, but at what cost, right? You maybe should have went for a Tailwind here, but... What do we have, Garrett? I'm paralyzed regardless. <laughs> That's just the game being like, hey, yo, Jeans, this one's over. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. So GG's to our opponent. We don't, we're not going to get swept here. We are going to get rid of that blue chain. I'm going to end up running this one. And we'll take that 2-1 winning record all day long. Another winning record added on to the channel. Absolutely love this team so much. Nice little off-meta squad. You got Garatina, Iron Chagulus, Gudra, our three off-meta Pokemon. Rocking out with Incineroar, Roboom, and Arachnid. Did really well today, especially with Dragon Tear, Garatina, and Shelter Gudra. Just doing a lot of work for us. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.